Check this out. This is a lightning antenna. It's part of a lightning detection sensor. There's four of these in the state and just over a hundred across the country. And in 1976, all of this technology was invented right here in Arizona. Every time you see that flash, count to 15, and it'll show up here. Look at all of these lightning strikes. In those seconds in between, the magic is happening here at Visala. Inside of here are electronics that are taking the signal from the antenna up top here. When lightning is detected at one of these sensors, it sends the angle and the time to the control center here in Tucson. And we take these angles and these times, the circles are the times, and calculate back to the position. In 2005 in Mesa, I've never seen anything like this. It was like almost like a bomb going off. A bolt so powerful. My dad was actually sleeping in his bedroom and it knocked him off of his bed. It was detected by sensors in Canada. Soil from the yard was thrown against the side of a house a block away from where it hit. We looked it up. It was 700 and about 20 kiloamps, which is just about as strong as you can possibly get. That's about 29 times the intensity of the average lightning bolt. Lightning is a very good indicator of the intensity of a storm. If you think this data is just for TV. Safety is a very big issue in Arizona, so we have specific drops on the data at a number of mines in, in Arizona because of explosives. About 75% of Arizona's electrical storms erupt in July and August. Most of those strike between noon and early evening. Arizona ranks in the top 10 for lightning caused deaths, about two and a half million strokes every year, every single bolt capable of killing. It isn't typically raining very hard when we have lightning here, and so the perception is that it's not that dangerous. It's why every second, timing to the millionth of a second, every location, and the angle to about a tenth of a second, every lightning strike matters. Vaisala even goes beyond lightning detection. They are the designer and creator of all of these weather instruments. Everything from weather stations to weather balloons and even this, which they drop into the eye of a hurricane.